Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. So this is my third round submission into Ibex's commentator competition. So I must say that after, you know, beating two really good opponents, um, I'm feeling really good. Not just as a commentator, but as a COD player. You know, I'm, I'm feeling so much better. My KD's gone up. My win-loss has gone up. You know, I've just, I've become such a, just such a badass player. Such a great player. You know what? I think I'm going to start running on game battles rules, you know, because I think I feel like I'm so MLG now. I mean, you may have noticed my clan tag has now changed to MMLG. I'm not just MLG, I'm Major Major League Gaming, because that's how I roll now. And anyway, I want to share with you guys, though, some information, because I think most of the general public isn't familiar with, you know, how pros like myself like to roll. So let me, uh, let me inquire your minds. So first off, um... When I start doing this game battle stuff, I'm only limited now to only a few maps. Sea Town, Dome, Arcaden, Bootleg, Carbon, Hardhat, Lockdown, and Underground. Now, I don't know if that's all of them, but being an MLG player like myself, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is, you know, I can only use those maps. On top of that, I can only play certain games. Either Capture the Flag, Search and Destroy, or Domination. That's it. And now, for the game settings, though, you know... As a pro like myself, we turn the uh, friendly fire on because, you know, we can't just be spraying, you know, spraying and praying and all that jazz and, you know, being able to get somebody just randomly shooting through teammates, so they don't appreciate that. So that's why friendly fire is enabled. Other than that, all the rest of the rules are the same. Now, because, because I'm now so pro, I actually have to have the settings changed in order for it to be fair to the rest of the, to everyone else. And I understand that, that's fine. So just to explain, because I'm only limited now to a few game types, for say, uh, Search and Destroy, I'm only limited to now a two and a half minute round length. Uh, the bomb timer is now 45 seconds. The plant time is seven and a half seconds, as well as that is the same as the diffuse time. And the score limit is now at four points, and of course the round switches every round. All right, so that's fair enough. So then when I get to CTF, or capture the flag, you know, CTF is, <laughs> that's how us pros say it and everything. Um, the round length is, of course, is five minutes, but there's no score limit, you know? They feel like you shouldn't only be limited to get X amount of caps. What you should be doing is just to see how much you can run up that score, how many flags you can capture, because, again, you are just so MLG, because, again, eh, that's how I roll. So, and of course, there has to be a respawn delay, because you can't just, you know, respawn all willy-nilly like. So, that has to have a 7.5 second respawn time. On top of that, on top of that, not only does it have, it's not even round count, it's only the flag count. So, you know, even if, you know, I'm going against some team or whatever who is a, thinks they're pros, and they get like six flags the first round, all I have to do is get seven the second, and then I win. Because that's how I am. You know, it's, it's just all being, again, it's being MLG. It's being expert at game battles because that's how I roll, you know. Domination, very similar. Five minutes, no score limit, seven and a half second respawn delay. And on top of that, though, you have to play it twice in order to be official because, you know, you got to give a fair on opposite spawns and all that. And on top of that, once again, the highest total score wins. So. You know, I could be down 100 points in the first round. That Who cares? As long as I can get 101 the second round, then I win. It doesn't matter. Anyway, what I want to get to now, of course, because, again, I am so MLG. I am the epitome of a pro player that I need to talk about. That things have to be, you know, unlocked for me. There are certain things I can't use. For example, banned weapons. There are weapons that I am not allowed to use because, because again, the general public doesn't need to see my true awesomeness and so I can't use any sort of rocket launcher I can't use any shotgun I can't use any of the machine pistols and I can't use the riot shield so and I understand that because again the machine pistols almost an automatic kill you know launchers take down air support do a lot of blast damage because they're rockets and then of course the shotguns especially that striker you know with the extended mags you know what I'm saying you know, that, you know, all those guns way overpowered. I understand that. So they banned those. For the lethals, Bouncing Bettys, Claymores, and C4s, I understand that. Again, what that boils down to is the fact that, you know, you can just throw, any noob can just throw those anywhere. But, you know, being a true MLG player, you have to tactically 
put things in proper places, you know, like grenades and throwing knives and all the other stuff. So those are just willy-nilly kills, and they don't want you to do that. For tacticals, I cannot use the scrambler, the trophy system, the tack insert, and the portable radar. Now, again, I understand this because it, it makes life easier for all the other noobs. But on top of that, I don't even know what any of those do because I never use tacticals. That's what noobs use, not real players like myself. And then band attachments, heartbeat sensor, grenade launcher, shotgun, akimbos, and rapid fire. Again, all of those things, all of those, all of those things encompass very noobish activity. Very easy things where you just, you have a portable UAV then, and then you have the, you know, the noob tube, and of course the shotgun for close range, and of course being able to dual wield crazy, and then firing more bullets. I understand that's a big issue. When it comes to band, so that's the attachments. For the proficiencies, I can't do double attachments. Again, I'm going to OP the guns. And then finally for band perks, I cannot use blast shield, overkill, or recon. So again, I understand that because those are all quote-unquote overpowered and noobish things so the game's coming to an end um the team wins 65 38 just as a friendly reminder though if you watch the gameplay i used everything that i wasn't supposed to use river this one's for you buddy